is called write a tag. So, you know, I've never taught a class like this. Um, and arranging on the fly is an adventure for me because I am a thinker. I like to be prepared. I like to know what I'm going to do. And that's just my personality. It's a bar I'm a baritone at heart, I guess. <laughs> Although I'm a tenor in real life. Although I started as a baritone for a year and a half. Uh, so tonight we're going to talk about tags. Uh, we're going to listen to a couple of tags. Um, I didn't assume that everyone knew what a tag was. So we'll, we'll talk a bit about them and their function. Uh, we'll, we'll listen to a few from uh, some great websites that um, I discovered while researching the class. And I think Angie's posted her stuff up there as well. Um, and then we will have a go at creating a tag tonight. So we, this group of 21 people, we're going to try to write a tag. <laughs> and if I have to finish it by myself, that's fine. But we're going to come up. So start thinking about what you want your tag to be about. You can, you can work on your own if you want, but I think it'd be fun if we just did this as a group and we'll come out of this with a tag and impress the region with our creativity. Let's see how we do. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit for a little while first. And then I'll have to share my whole desktop. What the heck? Here we go. Let's write a tag. So I can move you people up here somewhere. Where do you go? How do I get them to go that way? Or, no? Oh, I could put you way over there in the corner. <laughs> I can't see your faces, but I don't think I can get it to flip up there, can I? Wait. Usually if you drag and, and hold it at, at, before you release it, it'll shift orientation or there yeah. sometimes is in the view um, when you're looking at the bar, um, it will you can actually make it a thumbnail or you can oh. make it the little grid. And then if you go to drag it across the top, it'll yeah. and like up to the very top of your screen, it'll flip. Yeah, I can't get it to flip, but I can reshape it. Is it okay over there? Yep, there's nothing blocking the slide that I can see. So we should be good. Maybe over here, it'll be better because then you won't miss the titles. Okay. Uh, all right, let's write a tag. Here we go. And we're off. So we're going to talk about barbershop tags. Uh, then we're going to talk about writing a tag. Because the thing about tags that's different than just arranging is that tags and intros and sometimes bridges, the things we put in the middle of arrangements, those are the original pieces of the arrangement. So they're often composed by the arranger. And sometimes they'll use a snippet or something out of the song, but it's original work. So you're not just an arranger but also a songwriter. So tonight we're all gonna be songwriters. Uh, we're, then we're gonna talk about arranging the song that we write, the four bar song. And then uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what we come up with at the end of the night. Uh, this should be interesting. So here we go, the barbershop tag, what is it? For any of you new to barbershop, if you've never been to an afterglow or uh, an afterglow is a party after a show, or, uh, or after a competition or some place where people just stand around and they look for people who don't sing their parts and they sing little four bar, eight bar songs. And they are the best part of the song. They are the end of our barbershop songs or sometimes they're original creations. And we like to stand in our little circles and sing tags. And they're usually taught by rote, uh, usually taught by ear. That's the culture of barbershop. And uh, you might sing it 50 times and just so that you can get the satisfaction of hearing it ring, of learning your part, of feeling your voice in the foursome. So it's a it's a fun and it's a unique tradition in barbershop singing. And it, it's really fun when people come from other choral art forms and we introduce them to tag singing because it's new to them. Like opera singers don't do it. And, you know, choral singers don't don't necessarily stand around and sing these tags, these little snippets of songs. The real function of a tag, we do do we do have tags in our full fledged arrangements. It's it's the ending. It's a musical coda. So it's a it's a it's a finishing piece. <coughs> Composers have used that through classical music and you know with every, every lots of things have codas or just a way of finishing a piece. And that's what the tag is. It's the wrap up. Like I said earlier, usually melodies are usually composed by the arranger in the tag. Uh, most songs that we arrange don't 
come with the tag, you know, the way we expect them in the barbershop style. So we have to add that part. So it's an original piece of work. Uh, sometimes the arranger will write the lyrics, but sometimes you can find the lyric in the song. So if you're writing a tag for a particular song, it's a really good idea to look through the song for ideas that you might want to use. It's also a good idea to look at what you did in the intro and kind of try to make it congruent. So for those of you who are interested in, in becoming arrangers or you are arrangers, that's often a good thing to do is to look at how the tag bookends the front of the song to the back. Um, they're usually short. Uh, sometimes you see very elaborate tags, you know, 16 bars. Uh, it's like, like the tag feels like half the song, but usually they're four or eight measures in, uh, in most of the music that we sing. And in uh, music that we sing when we're just singing tags socially, they tend to be four or eight measures because we are working from memory. So it's hard to memorize a 16 bar tag in a circle at a party in a noisy room. So usually they're, they're short and tonight ours will be very short. It'll have to be short. Okay, if it's attached to an actual song, you wanna make sure that your tag uh, supports what came, what came before it. So it is a wrap up of what came before it. So it should be stylistically similar to what was happening before the tag came. You ever heard a tag that just sounds like it was Frankenstein onto the back end of the song where you go, whoa, where'd that come from? And sometimes that's exciting. Maybe that's what the arranger is looking for, but generally speaking, you really just want to wrap the thing up in a bow and it should have a, a, an identifiable melody line. So those of you who are leads, uh, sometimes in those do to do songs we talked about the other night, if you're in the arranging 101 class, um, the tenor or the bass will end up with a tag and the lead winds up singing harmony and thinks where'd the melody go, but, <laughs> but somebody should have uh, uh, an identifiable melody line. Hopefully it's a lead, but sometimes it's not. Okay, so that's the barbershop tag. Let's listen to a couple. These are some of the, I took these off of the classic section on the um, barbershop tags website and I've included it as a reference on the last slide. So I'll PDF these slides for you again so that you can have a look. But what's great is you can download the recordings of them as well. So this one is a, uh, what is this? This is an eight bar tag with a pickup. I love, I love to sing a, I love, I love to ring a, I love those barbershop, barbershop chords. Barbershop. Give me those barbershop chords. I listen to them and I think, where are they from? Are they from Boston, maybe? Or <laughs> something barbershop. They don't say there are. But anyway, that is a classic tag that we sing. It's a longer one, but it's repetitive, so it's pretty easy to memorize quickly. And uh, it's got all those great barbershop chords in it, which is another thing we want to hear in tags. Lots of sevens, lots of different little embellishments, like those bass pickups and, um, you know, the little berry solo at the end. We like those things in tags. They're, they, make, they make the party fun. And they, they delight audiences, too. It's kind of fun because it's part of the style. This is the first tag I ever learned. This is a nice little short four bar tag. And 1988 in Houston, my first convention with my director and someone else, a couple of other section leaders or something. And I was the newbie. I'd never been to an international. They, they were talking about tags. I was like, what's a tag? And they're like, well, you gotta learn a tag. So we stood on the street and we sang this one. Behind What's fun about tags is, is it is an oral tradition, so it's shared verbally, right? It's they they we didn't used to have big books of them, so they were they were memorized, and there were people who were good at remembering them and teaching them. But you see the little notes there. That's part of the tradition of the tag too. Is that I I know the little notes in the versions that I've learned, but these are just two different kinds of versions of this tag that are popular. Um, um, I actually taught this one to my family once too, and before they, they didn't live near me when I started singing barbershop, so we were on a vacation of some sort in my 20s, and I remember driving across uh, Canada in Saskatchewan and, and teaching them this tag, it was quite fun. It's a good one for beginners. And this is just my favorite tag. 
takes me straight to a place called Harmony Hollow. In Region 26 on Labor Day weekend, we always have Harmony Hollow. And when I first joined Sweet Adeline's, um, and it's a barbershop, Sweet Adeline's, whoever likes barbershop comes to it. The Most Happy Fellows have won international, and they were from Washington State. I think they won in the 70s or 80s. It must have been the 70s because it was before, anyway. And the tenors, a gorgeous tenor. And I remember them singing this tag and teaching us this tag at Harmony Hollow. So I always think of the woods. We're standing in the woods at this church camp and we're secretly keeping beer in our glass and it's late, late, late at night and we're singing gingham gown. <laughs> so that's tag singing. I mean, that, that's how what I think of when I think of tags is just sort of that camaraderie and, uh, and the people that you learn from, the teachers that you meet. So how should we write a barbershop tag? Let's see, a tag is an original piece of music. So I've said this, you're the composer and you're the arranger. So I think, you know, if we're just gonna write a tag cold tonight, uh, we need to pick a subject and write a short lyric. So we're gonna do that. And then we need to create an interesting melody. So something that we're gonna keep it simple. We gotta keep it simple because I couldn't do anything complex on the fly. And you can do something complex after this. That will be cool to have like a little tag exchange. Uh, so create an interesting melody for your lyric. And now let's, the, this is the hard part, I think. We'll try to figure out what chords will go underneath our melody. So if we can create, this is, this is getting to the starting point for the arranger, if you will. Like as an arranger, you have a composed song that you're going to arrange and you usually will uh, get some sheet music which has the melody on it and the chords. So we want to get this far is uh, we want to have the melody and the chords. When we're thinking about chords, when we when we're singing our melody and we picked a key, there's certain chords that are going to be important. We're going to want to use them as pillars. And that's the one chord, so say in the key of C. There's a one chord and then a four chord, and a five chord, and a one chord. Those are very basic. Uh, in, in music theory, if you've studied music theory, it's the, the tonic, the, the predominant, the dominant, and then back to the tonic. That's just a very common chord progression. And then we can get fancy with, you know, the rest of the melody that doesn't fit into those chords, or those just are good landing places as we move through. Uh, and we'll find some other landing places too, I'm sure. So as we figure out the chords, and I'll probably just goof around on the keyboard here and then you guys can say what you like or don't like. Um, let's see what happens. Once you have the chords, we write it out with the lyric and then we're ready to arrange it. So let's try it out. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing for a minute because I kind of we know what we need to do. We're gonna pick a subject. We're gonna write a short lyric. We're gonna create a melody, and then we're gonna figure out what chords go underneath the melody. Just let me stop sharing for a second here, so I can see all of you thinking about this. What are some good topics? You can put them in the chat. I think Geek Week is a good topic. COVID, tired of Zoom, pets, how writing a tag is so much fun. All right, should have done a poll, that would have been good. COVID, a COVID tag. Would that be like a minor key, like a really sad tag? No, <laughs> no I would like it to be in a major key, a happy, happy, a <laughs> happy major key would be easier for us, will not it? Yeah, the COVID tag. <laughs> The other COVID tag. Okay. All right. All right. How many? Let me see. Well, I have like been singing too. 
How about, um, okay, so quarantine singing, tired of Zoom, COVID, Zoom, a Zoom tag, COVID, COVID, quarantine singing. Okay, so quarantine singing, singing, or Zoom, or COVID. Quarantine singing, Zoom, Zoom fatigue, or COVID. Now we need a short lyric on one of those. Which one shall we pursue? We'll get out of this sometime. Yeah. Oh, I see. These are lyrics. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So something like when COVID ends, looking forward to the end of it, that sort of a thing. Okay. Let's go with that. I like that. Because a couple people have written things like, we'll get, Carol wrote, we'll get out of this sometime. I need to kiss a boy. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's a getting out of COVID thing. That's true. Corinna, I wrote a little lyric. Okay. When, Is that Annette? Yes, it's Annette. When COVID ends, the world will sing in health and harmony. When COVID ends, the world will sing in health and harmony. Or with health and harmony. Okay. You think uh, we could shorten it? Sure. What would be a good way to shorten that? You guys can unmute and yak if you want. We're not that big of a group. When COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. In harmony. That would, be, that, would, that would be just four measures, you know. Yeah. When COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. I guess it's the same guess. It's the same length, isn't it? <laughs> in health and harmony, just to get it to run. Okay. Does that seem like a tag we should write? Sure. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Annette. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Siri. Oh my God. And that's exactly how I began it in my head. What, that way? Well, I did so do, but you said so me. You know, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Well, you know, we've got to, somehow we're going to end up on do too. Anybody yes, want to sure. venture a, a, a tune? Want to sing a tune for us? Don't be shy. I told you I'm out of my comfort zone. I want you out of yours too. Were you in E flat when you were playing, Corinna? Were you in E flat? Or were That's you a B flat, E flat, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, when COVID ends. That's probably, it's gonna wind up too high if I wind up on that E, cause that's in the key of E flat, right? And remember what I said on a Tuesday night, was it? Whenever it was, when I <laughs> forgot, I don't even know what day it is today. Two, day, two nights ago, we You're talked about You're not so alone. to so. That's right, right, right. So to so. so to so. When COVID ends, where are our words? When COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. Poor COVID. Oh, well, why do I pity COVID? I don't know. <laughs> Nice. I like that. I like that. Sure. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Okay, then let's put on. How's that? That's great. When it's been COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. Can we get behind that melody? Yeah, we can. Yes. Okay, that's B flat. Okay, now the hard part is, let's just see what I got here. That wasn't the hard part. <laughs> no, that was the easy part. <laughs> now it gets hard. <laughs> now we have to be flexible because sometimes I find if I'm writing a melody, 
what I want to do is I get attached to the melody, so. So do I, but then I'm a lead. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but then what happens is you try to put chords with it uh, and you're like, oh, this, uh, this isn't really the chord that I heard. And then you have to be willing to change your melody if you're the composer. Yeah. When COVID ends, da, 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 that'd be an easier note, wouldn't it? That's the kind of note where you might change it. The world will sing, sing in I'm just plunking it into finale just for because it's short and we can. Me. Okay. And I could share my screen with you so you could see I don't have a proper pickup bar, so it's gonna be weird. And COVID ends. Whatever the world will sing in harmony. Okay, now I'm gonna share my screen with you again so you can see what I'm doing, sorry. Oh, no. I need to kiss a boy, I do like that one too. <laughs> Helen from Hots. <laughs> share, okay. Oh. Let's try and move this guy over. Erase, where are you, my eraser? Oh, you're right in front of it, aren't you? Go away. I can move you. And I will put it at the end of that bar. I didn't know if we would have a pickup, but I just prepped a little sheet that was basic. There we go. So this is finale. I'm looking in if you're wondering. You haven't seen it before, but it's way faster. So here we go. How's that? Look, we wrote a little song. Could you could Aww. you hear that? No. Nice. Yeah. You nice. couldn't hear it? Did I need to? I'm gonna just let me just do a new share here and I will oh yeah, I'm sharing my computer sound. Yeah, no, we could hear it. Oh you could hear it? Oh okay, I thought somebody said no. All right, there you go. So there. Now we have to figure out like we've written it in the key of E flat here. So we're in a major key. That's good. Annette, that was your wish. <laughs> and what I said about one, four, and five, those three important chords, what are the one, four, and five keys going to be here? One is the name of the key, E flat. E flat, right. That bar looks like an E flat bar to me because the, 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 the notes in the E flat triad are E flat, G, and B flat. And look, that bar has everything in it. I didn't do that on purpose, but that's sort of just our Western music ears. That's how we think of things, right? Um, the four chord is A flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. Now, I don't know if that's an A flat chord in the next. It looks like an F minor or maybe an A flat. It could be, but it, it's got an F, G, A flat, F. That kind of looks like an F minor bar to me. Not B flat. Pardon me, Wendy? No, it wouldn't be a B flat. A B flat bar? Uh, or it could be a B flat seven. Uh, five, seven. Yeah, that's better. We're going to go back to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, Wendy. There's definitely going to be a five. That's the five, seven chord, yeah. right? There's going to be one in there. In home, five seven again. Three, yeah, five seven again on this one, right? The D. Yeah. Because, and I'm sorry if you're not a chord person in here. Let me just see. If just, but this is a collaborative thing. Uh, so, one is E flat, the E flat chord. We're going to start and end on E flat. That's often true in tag. Sometimes you start in the middle of a thought. And it won't start on the do chord, but we're definitely going to end on a major chord. Okay. Um, the the five chord is the next most important chord in the key, and that's what Wendy's picking at. It's the B flat chord. 
and so we're going to go there twice. We're going to go there. You think we're going to go there here? And then we might add some other things that would be fun. I'm just penciling these in so that we have our, our fake sheet. And then this one could be a four. It's going to be something predominant, so like an A flat chord maybe. So let's listen. Let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit. Here we go. When COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. That sounds right, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's it's simple, but there you go. And this should be a B flat seven. That's really important, isn't it? I have a suggestion for "World Will Sing." That sounds, sure. It sounds like F minor to me. I think there's some F minor in this too. Yeah, let's and try that. Let's try that. The, I like B flat, but okay. When it'll make it more so world will sing in Sorry, that wasn't very good recording on my part. That's all right. When it ends. Yes. Yeah, we definitely need that cadence right there, that yes, B yes. flat seven thing. And we might, and we're going to have to use some filler other chords in there too. Yes. Because we have some notes in here that aren't part of the chord, but we can do that next. Okay. So what do you think, everybody? We have a little cheat sheet. Yes. So we basically have the equivalent of sheet music now. Marina, what yeah. happens if we put a change in on sing? And I don't know which which way with the with the B flat seven uh, and the minor. Could you do one or the other? Put a chain another chain. Maybe I would go to the strong chord first and then the weaker one if we were gonna do that. When COVID ends, the world will sing in. I like that. Yes. What happens if you go the other way, just to hear it? Sure. Uh, so to the weak chord first. Yeah, just to hear it. Whoops, whoops, I did a fancy chord. That's an F, F minor. I like that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's F minor seven. I like the F minor seven better there. Sorry. I, I do too. I, I do too. By a mistake. <laughs> and that's just that's that's how I do it. I just scoop around till sometimes my thumb just doesn't go to the thing I want it to go to, and I go, oh, I like that better. I liked it. Which way did you like it? Who was that I was talking to? It was Carol. Yeah, I just I wanted to hear it both ways because I could see mm -hmm. in terms of like matching the lyric, you know, where's the tension and where's the where's the hope? You know, excellent <laughs> thought, great arranger Love it, thought. Carol. Love it. Yeah, it's, yes, so it's the music therapy brain in there too. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you a music therapist? I'm I'm a semester from graduating with my master's oh, in music. Therapy. God bless you. Yes. God, we need you now. <laughs> yes. No. Hmm. That was uh which one was that? That was F minor first, wasn't it? So let's try B flat seven first this time again. I don't like either of them right now. Yeah, I don't think I want the five seven in there yet. What do you think? Maybe we're still wondering. <laughs> um, you could, um, I don't know which F, F minor seven, F minor you're talking about, but you could always walk down from, uh, from A flat. Uh, you can walk down as a passing tone to a B seven. Okay, yeah. Let's get to the let's let's get to the next section then. Actually, we'll have to anyways. Oh, it's nine thirty six. But I'm so happy you guys are into this. It's cool. 
let's let's use this as our cheat sheet and then we could change it in the next section if we need to uh and i'm going to flip over to my this guy again can you see my screen as i'm moving to another yes. presentation okay good. yes okay so we've got a cheat sheet so now technically we're ready to arrange our tag so how do we arrange the tag uh so now that we have a fake sheet that's usually where the arranger will start uh, and we've actually put the melody in a good key for singers. I think it will be fine because it's a key of E flat. We did sort of a, a so to so melody because we're clever that way. And so our basses will probably won't have to go below an E flat. So we're, I think we've got a good key, but these are just some guidelines for where our singers like to sing. Um, usually lead and Barry, you know, live from this G below middle C up to that high C. Bases, we try not to keep them much below an E flat generally. And then tenors, we don't want to send them too far into the stratosphere or too low into their middle voice. We hate it there. <laughs> That's why we sing tenors, so we don't have to sing in our chest voice. That's terrible. Yeah. That's why we cover for you, Karina. I know, I know, I know. I, know. Love I love people who can sing in the middle <laughs> and low, yeah. So we're, we don't have to transpose the melody in this case, but the first thing we should do is write in the bass line and those chords will give us a good clue as to where the bass should go. And then we'll write in the tenor line and then we figure out the missing note and just give it to the baritone. So in arranging tags, the last chord of the tag will almost always be uh, the major chord in a root position. Even in a minor uh, tag, half the time, unless it's a really sad and quiet ending, it does go to some, something that feels resolved. And the thing that makes it feel resolved is that cadence right before the end. So there's a tension chord, the second last chord, something that wants to move. And in our case, we put in a barbershop seven there, didn't we? We put a dominant seven in because dominant sevens want to go somewhere. They want to leave. You couldn't end a song on that. You just need it to go. You need it to go home or it could go somewhere else interesting. It could go somewhere else, but it's got to go somewhere. It's got that seventh in it that wants to move. So anything that creates musical tension, and that's part of the fun of singing a tag, is finishing the tag. Um, we should make room for an embellishment in our arrangement. We'll have to figure out where it will be. Maybe it'll be a Barry Diddley or something. Uh, or it could be a hanger or a solo. We've written, we've written the melody, so we know it's not going to be a hanger, probably. Um, we could do an echo. Uh, in Gingham, one of the reasons I love Gingham Gown is the duets that are in it. They're just so pretty. Uh, they're really satisfying for the singer. So, and we're going to keep it short. All right. I'm not going to, I don't think, well, I will go through this, but I did this the other night. But just quickly though, we're going to put the bass on the root of the chord wherever we can. Um, where we have four note chords, we're going to use all of the notes. If we can't put the bass on the root, we're going to put them on the fifth. And we're going to have to put in chords for the notes that don't fit in our chords when we do the arrangement. So we'll go do that. I think you know most of these other things. Those are from the other night. So let's go back to our arrangement and see. So this is what we're going to do. We've already transposed. We're going to write in the bass line first. Then we're going to write in the tenor line. Then we're going to give the missing note to the baritone. <laughs> They're OK with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is truly how you arrange. And then let's we'll look at embellishments and see if we can do something. We can make it a little fancier, but we'll start we'll start playing just so that we get through it. Okay, so here's our awesome tag. <laughs> So we could just put the bass on those things, on those notes. Maybe I'll, there, I'll duck down so you can see my keyboard. I have a little different beginning yeah. of the bass. When COVID ends, the world will sing because I'm hearing that. I was hearing the same thing, actually. This is tags, yeah. Well, 
it's from the eggs I remembered. Yeah. So it would be. So it's, it's. Then maybe we want to change our melody for the za to be an E flat. Yes. Yes. And, and that, that's that's where we have to be flexible, right? Right. And right. You, I don't know, but you might need a uh, B natural in there. I'm not sure for that descending yes. bass line. Yeah, yes, the descending bass, this the sing should be um, B natural, Wendy. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yep. that's B natural. Okay, so let's just pencil Thank in you. that for fun. Uh, bass will be this voice. When COVID. Oh, and she's she, uh, the bass is doing half notes, isn't she? Yeah. When or staying put at least. COVID ends. Yeah. The yeah. world will mm -hmm. Oops, no, no, natural. Yep. Sing. And then Sing. harmony, you know, five, five. Harmony. Yep, yep, yep. Is there a B flat in F minor seven? We might change our chord. Oh. Then you'd have to go back to your B flat, your five, seven. Uh, no, well. We well, this, this one can, can be the B flat. flat. Yes, that will be B flat. Okay. So you know what we've written? We've written um, in classical music, they would call this uh, six, four, five, three. This is an E flat chord. <laughs> Okay. It's just, it's our Western ears, right? Yeah. And we hear it all the time. We hear it so much that we just think, oh yeah, that's how that goes. Like it, it's that, that's what that is. So it's the E flat with the five in the bass. It's, um, my music teacher always says it's, it's a, it's a B flat chord with wrong notes in it. Because <laughs> it, it wants to go here. He says you those that, that E flat and that G in that chord though they don't belong there because this is the chord that the listener is hearing and then it goes there. Yeah. That's just like a little foreshadowing. Okay, excellent. That's not bad, eh? No, that's good. Now we just have to figure out what to do with everybody else. <laughs> so are we all going to start in unison on those first two? I would like that. I would like that. We kind of have to, don't we? Yes. Or in an, in an octave is fine. Whoops. All right. Because right. Right, I have. Uh... Mm -hmm. When... Everyone's going to start down there. Is there a tone to? It means we're going to voice class, but who cares? We'll just let them, them start. And then they'll have to be in unison on this one too, won't they? So we're going to write the tenor in next. She's next. That's a nice flat mm -hmm. and we get to put in yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. COVID ends. We kind of need the berry to stay on the E flat for N. We're not supposed to be there yet. <laughs> and then the tenor will come up. Okay, so she can follow the lead around for a bit here, right? COVID. I imagine she's going to go there. World. I want to hear her there. Oh, that's but that. We can't do that because the bass is on it. Right. So what chord is that one with the B natural in it? 
It's yeah. augmented, isn't it? Can't you just have that B natural leading to the C and the F minor chord? It can't be augmented because uh, those are, it might be diminished though because of the B natural and the A flat. That's a minor third. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. could be a B diminished though, B, D, F, A flat. No, that's ugly. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and write in a couple baritone notes just to save us some time, because I think we know what this bar does now. Yes. <laughs> so the berry's gonna stay on the E flat. Oh, she's going to have to move though, just to get out of the lead's way. That would be Libra on the E flat. We don't know what we're doing, doing here yet. F minor seven, that one. Okay, we have to figure out what chord is next there. See, we didn't stay simple. Now we're now we're in complex land. <laughs> That's a C minor in seven. Oh darn, that's not the tenor part. And there is this voice. I really want her on the B natural, but the bass is there. I mean, couldn't you just say that it's a passing chord? <laughs> <laughs> it can't be a C either. You don't want to pass in chord on the word sing, though. It's, yeah, it's a stronger <laughs> beat. Yeah. Yep. Right, so. The nice thing about tags is we have to follow all the rules. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a minor chord. We can do that. A flat minor, A flat, C flat, and then it's okay to double that. That'd be okay for the tenor to be on the C flat. Oh, good. And that is actually what this is. This is a C flat. Chord spelling, so important. Oh, it really helps you resolve yeah. the. Oh, yes. I see, she said. I see, yes. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Now it makes sense. Oh, language. It's all yes, in the language. All I, know, I know, I know, I know. And we can double, yes. Uh, okay, so that looks a little messy there. I got two tenor notes there or something. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. That's got a... Is there a berry note there? Not yet. Not in the chord It, sink, it but... just looks unclear. It looks... Yeah, I think I I accidentally put some she, she's rests in here. Oh, there. oh, oh, okay. The, uh, the, uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, is that better? I had uh, done some poking around when I should have. Okay. 
Is there still a rest on Sing for the Berry? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, because I haven't filled that in yet. But she's just going to stay on the E flat, right? The berry. I think so. Because that's the A flat chord we talked about. And then we're back to the chord we started with, which is great because it's like an F minor bar in, hey, grand finale. And we still have 15 minutes. I'm impressed. For embellishments. <laughs> oh, for embellishments. Right, right, right. It's not a tag unless it's an embellishment. That's right, that's right. In harmony. Okay, when COVID ends, the world will sing in harmony. That's not very interesting, is it? Well, you can have... We could have the embellishment on the the in the measure of the knee of harmony. We can echo in a you know in harmony or sweet harmony. You know. Oh, good idea. Um, a minor, minor, major is what I'm hearing. Or the bass and the lead sing the knee, and the harmonic sing in harmony. Ah. What if we change the melody so it went up somewhere? In harmony. Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, or maybe that's just what the Tana was doing. Say say again, Annette, what was your idea? In harmony, knee, bass, and, and and lead sing the knee, and then all I can hear is in harmony. I you know I hear that or in harmony, you know something along those lines with minor, 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 major, you know. Help me out here, everybody. Don't leave me dangling. You're doing great. <laughs> You're an awesome soul. <laughs> Let us just figure this out. I'm just thinking. I'm Syncopate gonna... that harmony. Harmony. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we've got this nice little sort of uh, cadence at the end, but it's. I'm just going to okay. pencil in the basics so that we have. Uh... Yes. Oh. Or, or a second. I really want her uh, to do that. I want to put the berry down, I think. Yes. One more chord change on the. on on the Moa harmony. Okay. Moa putting one more change in before it resolves. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a nice idea. I think too, if the bear, if the lead went up, we'd have nicer voice leading for the baritone. How about doing a repeat of the word harmony and putting all the major minors in that repeat make make this in quarter notes. Yes, I'm totally distracted right now. Okay, I'm coming back to you in my head. Just a minute, I've got the ten on the wrong note. All right. So um, in that measure, you can uh, go do one, um, then five of five, then five, then B flat seven in the second half of the beat. That's... Five of fives are nice, yeah. Where's that? On the beat, um, so on the second beat of measure four, um, you'll go you'll E flat, then let's see, what is it? Um, F, F7, or even minor F, minor, a minor F chord again, leading to a major B7. Like, uh, yeah. And Joanne has a great suggestion of putting sweet harmony as an echo. It could even be within that measure four. Somebody could sing in har and then sweet harmony could be like a, maybe a berry. Harmony. Harmony, sweet right. harmony, so one, that kind of a thing. Or one, or even, or the you. I could hear a tenor going. The lead sings har, and that's and the tenor sings sweet har money, right? Yeah, 
something like that maybe even a, a you know a, a duet echo in a couple of parts i don't know if you could you could even if you Gary could, and tenor you, maybe yeah why not oh, either in terrible okay yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> i'm just looking at what i've done here and it's horrible like there's there's parallel fifths there's all kinds of horrible <laughs> things going on <laughs> I just we're all getting in your way is what it's going <laughs> no, no, no. you guys have got all these rookies in the room and i'm just trying to get this cadence right and i can't get it right <laughs> so that's okay we've, we've done a great job those first two bars okay so when covid ends the world will sing in home what if the harmonies were really long and you had lots of time to put all these ideas in there? Oh, yes. So if it went, COVID in harmony, 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 all right, so then the things that you were just talking about, somebody heard the in harmo sound, like maybe yes. that could happen after the first harm. This becomes the mo. Oh, that lets us, <laughs> we've got the word harm in a COVID tag. That's so long. <laughs> <laughs> very congruent. <laughs> okay. Three, four, five. Well, we all agree this may not be a contest piece in the end. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the tag that no one ever sings, but that's hey, right. <laughs> we're going to sing it. It's a late night tag. It's a late night that's tag. Right. Oh, my Lord. It's the remember that class we took that went really off the rails? Okay, that is a baritone note. It should be a two. Oh, but I put in something else. I lost my color coding. I used to have, oh, there's a baritone. It's right here. She's supposed to be there. So this is finale, is that right? Oh yeah, sorry, it says that. Yeah. Yeah, this is me using finale very badly. All right, there we go. Okay, and then this will have to be a whole note. All right, so what's what's the first one going to be? The first echo. <laughs> I think in the first one, um, baritone sing, lead sings, uh, the world will sing in har, baritone says, um, in harmony, and then the tenor, sweet harmony. Ah, yes. 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 I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we start with the, the baritone's going to say in harmo. Yeah. That's just such a terrible arrangement. I wonder if cadential six fours don't work in. Okay, so but the baritone's gonna do something here. And then who who goes in this bar? Because the tenor is going to go here, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what she's doing? Yeah, yeah, I like that. We like minor. So the, the bass, the bass could be next, and the tenor at the end. Mm -hmm. Put bass in five. 
she has to end on the B flat, right? Yeah. So, okay, so I feel like I still don't, I still really don't have. She go they down like that. Walk, yeah, they love to walk down. But bases love walking. <laughs> it's funny. Get your so boots on, it, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> is it just the three of us left on this call? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> four of us is four of us, is five of us maybe. No, I'm sorry, no, everybody. They are there. They're there. Keep I hope the rest of you are staying here to sing this. Let me see. We've got three oh, minutes. They're still to there. This. We have a lot of people who aren't singing. Um, we could. You could probably just, you know, make it simpler just to get the basics and then fill in those things. I think too. What we should do here is a little suspension, like on this lead. We'll just have her say, "When COVID ends, the the world will sing in harmony." Okay. Because uh, uh, come on, lead, cooperate with me. Okay. Because that's going to give us a little, I think. I'm almost, yeah, there's still a chord in there that's not writing. That's nice though, I like that. Something, the bass doesn't go in there. It should be a B flat again. Yeah, we need a B flat in the bass for that. Look at that G going. You've got the bases walking all the way down in the whole, like the whole thing. We could pop back up more toward the end. Maybe she can just come back up to the B flat and pause. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to sing this thing in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this masterpiece. <laughs> I thought we laugh. can't sing on Zoom. <laughs> we can sing this on Zoom. <laughs> I don't think I don't think any lag is gonna hurt it. <laughs> it might even be better. <laughs> we might find some new chords. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my god! Uh, oh, this is god. awesome. You guys are awesome. Okay, <laughs> this one is, does not belong there. I guess the baritone has to go down there. Okay, so what have we got here? Let's let's listen to it. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about the tenor. We forgot to finish it. Oh. <laughs> Small thing. Just make it a post. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. The leads should go up and the baritone should do that little diddly thing. That's what should be happening, I think. But anyway, this is a long process. <laughs> it is. Yes. And this is only four bars. No. Uh, uh, it, it Actually, really it's six, three, but you know, eight, seven. Eight, oh, yes. Two, three, four, <laughs> true. Five. We expanded the scope of our. Yes. Uh, and then maybe now the lead can go back to the F. There we go. I don't want to rush anybody. I'm just going to put the survey in the chat before people lose all of their steam to fill it out tonight. So take okay. it. I think we're almost done here. We are almost done.
<laughs> yeah, we just need a little. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, right. by committee. I love it. I know. <laughs> Uh, Karina, can you uh, slow it down and like start, you know, uh, rallando yeah. in measure six? <laughs> oh, you need a retard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the tenors can milk that last move. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's all about. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. You can you even put a little diddly before the last move just to make him happy. <laughs> a little diddly. <laughs> yeah. Ever love in harmony or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> mind, we want to keep our tenors happy. That's our tag. I think that's all the time we have for our tag. But would you like to sing it? Yeah. 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 Sure. That's for five. And, okay, and wait, we can go. you send us a copy of it? Of course. Okay. You, you may want to you know, get rid of that a uh, high note in the uh, beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's our tuning note. <laughs> Wendy, that that's your note, Wendy. Oh, it's a <laughs> <laughs> okay all right here we go all together you don't even need to mute it's gonna be that good here we go <laughs> when, when COVID You guys That's great. are like rock stars of arranging tags. I'm so impressed. <laughs> So now that we've done this, Corinna needs to send this all out and everybody on this call needs to record it. We need to do a virtual chorus and post it oh, for January. That'd be fun. Oh, that'd be yeah, awesome. That would be fun. Okay. 